The CIA is carrying out mind control on countless numbers of unwitting American victims. And he even went so far as to say the basic methods that they use in this mind control, hypnosis, drugs, and torture. Three parts of policy that they had uh, adopted there. The second one was to find a way of being able to get total control of people's minds. And that would be done by taking hypnotism out of the realm of the occult and introduce it as a new science for the benefit of mankind. reflecting a policy of genocide either against the Tibetan people themselves or against their culture. Dear Prime Minister Stephen Harper, we ask you to help many people in Canada who are being affected unjustly without their informed consent by psychotronic or mind control weapons. We are addressing to you on behalf of Canadian Organization of Victims of Psychotronic Weapons. We and many others are being tortured and mutilated in a mind control concentration camp 24 hours every day. We wouldn't be tortured and manipulated in a properly functioning legal society. Victims of psychotronic weapons detail the most extreme violations of human rights in history, including the most horrendous incidences of psychological torture, mental and physical mutilations. Criminals place human subject under continuous surveillance, no matter where he or she is. They monitor human brain, including thoughts, reactions, motor commands, auditory events and visual images. They continuously alter consciousness, introduce voices, noises, other disturbances, commands, images and dreams into the brain. They directly abuse, torture and hit bodies from remote locations. The technology they are using is so advanced that it allows the controller to see through the eyes of the targeted individual, essentially seeing whatever the victim sees. These are some of symptoms of targeted individuals. Microwave hearing and torture with intense loud electronic sounding noise. Visual disturbances, visual hallucinations. Manipulation of will, emotions, feelings, perceptions. Manipulation of human behavior, forced speech, involuntary body movements, transmission of specific commands into the subconscious, compulsory execution of these commands, reading thoughts remotely, retrieving memories, implanting personalities, debilitation of mental acuity, inability to concentrate, disruption of ability to think, rationally and independently, loss of memory and knowledge, inadequate states which targeted individuals have never ever experienced before, states of narcotic intoxication, depression, obsessive desires, and so on, control of sleep patterns, sleep deprivation or uncontrollable sleep, and other symptoms. We have contacted police, RCMP, intelligence services, courts and 
other government institutions over and over and over again, but have had our appeals for assistance and protection almost completely ignored or suppressed. Government doing nothing in this situation is a form of sanctioning these horrendous fascist experiments with psych on innocent and defenseless people. That is why Canadian government is responsible for these crimes. Canadian government must uphold the rule of national, international and human rights law and protect Canadian citizens and immigrants by these laws. Instead, we see the huge disconnect between its professed principles and the reality. It is our responsibility to record and alert the world to these horrendous crimes and the extreme danger that these technologies pose to democracy, human rights, privacy, mental and physical freedom, health of all people. Doctors Mengele, who studied developing these techniques in concentration camps during World War II, were brought over here from Europe after the war to continue their atrocities. Emka Ultra was the first of these illegal and immoral experiments with unwilling victims. We're the latest victims. This must stop, and the responsible people exposed and brought to justice for these unspeakable crimes against humanity. We demand only that human rights are respected and the Canadian government appoints a committee to get to the bottom of this most serious matter. This gross violation of human rights must be investigated immediately.